Oklahoma with another top 25 matchup, this one against the Bobcats of Texas State. As we're feeding off it, you saw the momentum they got actually Friday night late in the game, starting to put a rally together in the seventh, and they just carried that over into Saturday. And Earls to left field. That one gets away from Henry. And Earls will remain at first. So That's some power. But Coach Woodard, a lot of options with those two at the top of the lineup. The throw back to first, and they got her. The Hannah Earl's hand coming to the back corner. Katie Stewart. So Ricky Woodard and Texas State win their first challenge of the contest. Face about that, so the count 3-0 and now to Piper Randolph. With Earl's back at first. Texas State in business early. Two on with no outs and that. The all-time ranks for Vanderford. Vanderford gives one a ride to left center, but Caden Henry makes it look easy. She covers so much ground so quickly, and there is out. Going to be the one that wants to go ahead and step in and drive the run in. 3-1, and how about this? Base is loaded for Texas State here in the first with only one out. Bass chops one over to third. Scott goes home, snagged by Atwood. Great job as that one was a little bit wide. She hung on. Big three-run homer against Arizona. Up the middle, Washington bobbled, recovers in time. Oh my, a close play here in the first inning. State this year, she keeps them in every game. She has the attitude, she has the passion to go with it. Mia Scott thrown out. Nice play in the hole by Hannah Earls. That one grabbed by Vanderford at third. Pitching and defense is stepping up. It doesn't matter quite as much as we saw last weekend. 2 1 on the way to Stewart. Jammed her a bit. Shallow left. Charging it and making the diving grab. Sydney Harvey or out of Victoria, Texas with an emphatic third out here to end the first in Austin. And she earned Big 12 Pitcher of the Week honors for that accomplishment. Katarate over to short Martinez. Your drop ball and we've actually heard Coach White talk about that with Mac Morgan as well. Your drop ball when it's lower part of the zone, you get ground balls that your defense can handle. As soon as you move it up in the zone, a lot of line drives and fly balls. So she has to be able to own about knee height, so that way she can work down. There is strikeout number one of the contest for Gutierrez. Reached. Well, and it was a big opportunity for Texas State to take the momentum, and they are very much an energy and momentum team. When they get it, they will run with it. But right now, Salali Gutierrez. Nominal so far this year. 1 0 to Reese Atwood. Ripped that one past Mullins to center field, and Atwood coming off that. Throughout season, some streaks of where there were a lot of strikeouts, but then she matched it up with some power. There's a little bit of power. Ropes one to right. That'll find its way into the corner. Rounding third is Wallace, and Texas is up 1 0 here in the second. Well, the sophomore drove in the first run in that victory over Oklahoma on Saturday, and she keeps the extra base hits going right down the line. That tucked in right inside the foul line. I actually thought she could have had a triple all the way, but she stopped at second base, obviously advanced when she saw Kat Zarate. Hitters, I think, I've seen in college softball. Chops one over to third. Vanderford goes to first, and the run comes in. Make it 2 nothing Longhorns. Well, this weak ground ball in the hole, Vanderford able to come over and take it off, but J.J. Smith coming off the bag too soon to make the throw on E3. So when you look at the pitchers Texas has faced this year, as laying down the bun is Caden Henry, and the offense just continuing to break through here in the second inning. Is batting 322. That one popped up in the glove of Kellner for the first out. Drink. 
has really been an unsung hero for Texas for quite a while down there in the bottom part of the line. Scooped up, Vanderford throws it away. One more run will come in, and Texas extends their lead to 3 nothing. Two now in scoring position as Maloney ends up on second. Maloney with the soft slap. Sarah Vanderford comes over to cut it off, which you have to do with the speed of Maloney, although I think she had that beat out anyways, but the errant throw allows Texas to score and Maloney and Henry to move up an extra 60 feet. Scott pops up. That's now three errors in the inning. Face her with the bases loaded. Payoff pitch, and she will face the freshman with the bases full of Longhorns. And the RBI double. She had a double robbed from her with a runner leaving early, but Katie Stewart really starting to heat up here at the later, later half of the season. But they get her to pop up with the bases low. As of the latest rankings, that one bounced over to Scott. Stewart with the reach, and no, pulled her off. Hannah Earls, the speedster, is aboard. So many of those were not routine. She had to move her feet and be able to make things happen. And just like the first inning, Texas State with two on and no outs. Both of these batters reached in the first. Earls and now Piper Randolph. Can they take advantage here in the third? A lot of speed on the bases. Chopped over to Short Martinez, on to first. And they get the first out of the inning as the runners advance to second and third. Well, and then you have J.J. Smith in the sixth hole, senior as well, so. Harris scooped it up and nobody was at first and Texas State is on the board. Stewart and Washington were standing next to each other. Well, Anna Jones just pulls this ball kind of into no man's land. Sit Lolly Gutierrez quick off the mound, but Katie Stewart way too far over trying to come get that to where Gutierrez has. It's really the top of this lineup that works the count against Sit Lolly Gutierrez. Runner is going cut off wisely by Martinez. Throw over to third, not in time. The runner advancing to second, which was Jones. She is safe. But I tell you what, a lot of teams would get caught there. A lot of pitch of this at bat on the way. Pass to left field. She delivers. Two runs will come home. And Texas State has tied it at three. Well, this is why that first out of the inning against Hannah Earls is so important. You would have two outs here. But Carmen Bass, a great job. That ball even pressure in. That's not necessarily a corner, but she's expecting it. She drives that to left field. Nothing Leanne Good can do with the speed Texas State had on the bases, and the Bobcats have tied the four of the Bobcats. They come into every game believing that they can win, and they put their best effort forward. Washington on to first. And this certainly isn't a team that gets intimidated by Texas. As They are very familiar with each other, so that intimidation factor is absolutely not in play for Texas State. Atwood on to third. Oh, not in time. Bass just slid in there safely. Zarate to Washington. And the top half of the third inning comes to an end. We'll get Rookie Woodard's thoughts on her team. Come back, comes back, has her back, and says, hey, we can put up 3-2. And when you have experience with nine senior, yeah, nine seniors. Go on the count, 3-1 to Vivi Martinez. We'll just be happy for Mullins out there. Right. Well, and I think there you see a walk to Vivi Martinez. And to Martinez on the season. First, it's Mitchell backhanded in the hole by Earls. On to first, nice stretch by J.J. Smith to get the out. She doesn't have to be hitting on all cylinders offensively to make the most of her opportunities in a game. Rate on to first. Texas gets one base runner, and that's all still tied. We'll just hit a ball to get up in the hole. 
And she loops it over Washington, who was the technically the second shortstop on that play. Long away both at bats. So Texas State with the go-ahead run on it first. Here is Megan Kellner, the catcher, drops down the bunt check, fires it over to first. Out number one is Harvey advances to second. Earls bounces one over to Scott, on to first. And they do get her two away now. Mers trying to put her team in front of number one Texas here in the fourth. Sends one into foul territory. Scott is there for the grab. So the Bobcats get a leadoff single, and that is all. The fact that they did drop two of three to Oklahoma State the weekend before, and you know, OU only has three losses. Third. Vanderford scoops it up, and that one hit Maloney. She is out. Well, Ashton Maloney, a great bunt, but she's running inside the running lane, so Sarah, Sarah Vanderford's throw hits her in coaching staff. Leading off, just not something she really likes to do, and I believe it. You watch Mia Scott play, she's tremendous, she's impactful. Not flashy. Pokes went over to Earls. She has been a machine at short, but the speed of Scott beats out the throw. In the 5-4 loss in nine innings. Vanderford leaps up for that one. The throw back to first, not in time, but they still get out number two. Scott trying to slide back in there in time, but as you can see, the hand not on the bag. Ricky Woodard wins both of her challenges tonight, and a huge out ends the fourth inning. Remember, for a while, she was out of softball. Kristen Zaleski became a bail bondsman. Juvenile detention officer as Vanderford flies out to Bella Dayton and left. Men and correctional officer, she went all in on it. Texas State swinging away. A couple of fly outs to Bella Dayton. The, the other defensive change for Texas, by the way, Dayton to left. Great weekend against the suitors, but issues the two out walk here to Bass. Well, after pounding the zones. Lifts one to right center field. Maloney charging in and makes the grab. No, it falls out of her glove. And here comes Bass. And Texas State has jumped in front. Well, this is sky high fly ball right center field. Ashton Maloney coming on. But as she dives, that ball comes out of her glove as it hits the ground. Have to secure it all the way through the play, and that ball pops out. Carmen Bass with two outs is on the run. Maloney, who made a great diving grab against Oklahoma. It's one of the best fielders on the team. That one off the glove of Scott and caught by Martinez. How about that play to end the inning? And a leadoff walk. Jessica Mullins, this is a line you don't see from her too often. Now four walks tonight and just one strikeout, and she's winning. One play, but coach is coming together, and... That one sent to shallow center field, and it will drop in in front of Randolph. Texas with two on and no outs here in the fifth. Well, I like this move for a number of reasons, and it might be shocking to people because a lot of times Ricky Woodard will live and die by Jessica Mullins. Vanderford on to first, not in time. Texas will have the bases loaded. A dribbler over to short. Earls has to hurry on to first. They get one out, but Texas has tied it up at four. Interesting. Earls didn't even think about trying to go for the force at home. Runners on second and third. That one gets away from the catcher, Kellner, and Texas retakes the lead five to four. A wild pitch for the freshman, Azua. Allows Texas to jump back in front. Oh, this pitch, a rise ball out of the zone, and 
Just off the glove of Kellner there. And then gives up a base hit to Caden Henry, Texas extending their lead. Well, you don't know what would have happened, and you can play the what-if game, but Coach Ricky Woodard, one, needs her freshman to have experience in these big games, but Caden Henry going with that curveball extremely well in the 5-6 hole, able to drive in the sixth run for the Longhorns, eight moving forward in the Sun Belt and postseason. Swing and a miss. Henry is going to throw on to second. Caden Henry safe with a stolen base. Her career has come up with some huge pinch hit at bats throughout her time here in Texas. Skies that one to deep center. And that is all, but Texas retakes the lead, scoring three here in the fifth. Out of the lineup. Yeah, got to see them last night in San Antonio and still just trying to find a consistent groove, I think. And still check would match up nicely together, being righty-lefty both with some off speeds that look a little different. But it is, you'd have to commend Estelle Bell. Just had the one big blow and that's when you know your pitching staff starting to come together is when your relief rolls can come in and buy into that. Martinez was there, one, two, three inning recorded by Check. Mitchell drove in a run as well. Texas also the beneficiary of three Texas State errors. And the leadoff hitter, Mia Scott, first place votes. Well, the strength of schedule, the success against that strength of schedule, all of that plays a factor. Great play by Sarah Vandeford on that ground ball. By Leanne Good, a nice back. We're going to add Texas and Oklahoma to that list as well. The battle for the SEC in the future is going to be very interesting. Went through some ups and downs early. Atwood over to third, Vanderford. And here we go, seventh inning on the way. The Longhorns have, who's trying to shut the door. Piper Randolph lays down the bun, and with her speed, she will beat that out. Nobody touched it. Maybe they thought it would roll foul. Regardless, the tying run will come up to the plate. <laughs> Lifts one to center. Henry, a long way to go, but makes the run for out number one. Track, because that she was running for a while for that one. Anna Jones over to second. On to second for one, over to first. And we play on two away here in the seventh. Coming up from check. Poked over to second, and Texas closes out Texas State here in the seventh with a 6-4 to four victory. The Longhorns improved to 32-6 and six on the year. Well, you knew it was going to be a close one. You had experience for the freshmen in an intense environment here at McCombs Field. Texas moves to 17-2 and two on the year here at McCombs Field. The Longhorns ranked number one in the nation once again, pick up the victory for number 22, Texas State. They fall to 32 and 10.